Hello again, it's Priscilla Battelle. I'm in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Flute Art Studio. That's an 18 by 24 inch canvas. And I'm hoping that you can see a lot of it. <laughs> I'm not sure about that. I've got some uh, color art products, some Mother of Pearl, Prism Pour. I need some paint to flow other paint with my spatula. So I'm going to try and start with what I have. And I need to use this up anyway because it's almost gone. This is Indian Spice. And no, I'm just going on instinct if you're wondering how I figure this out. I don't. I'm going to go ahead, ooh, am I? No, not yet. I'm going to use some uh, frostbite, which might seem kind of odd with that gold. Then I'm going to use some little, is that a hair? It was, go away hair. This is Midnight Shadow. And the really super dark, bright, strong colors I'm going to try and use less of. This is indigo violet. I've got some jasmine that I added new purely pigments dancing fuchsia to. And at some point in time, right close here, I'm going to just start with what I've got. This is deep amethyst. And I'm torn between Egyptian blue, which I think I'm going to use some of no matter what. And now's the time. Oh, I didn't open my frost berry. I meant to. Let's see if we can do it quickly. I checked everything else. It was open this afternoon when we tried to use it. I've got a little bit of air. Very little. Hey, as long as the top doesn't squeeze off, we're probably successful. Let's just, um, let's cheat. I'll use some more frostbite and add a little bit of Rhapsody Rose. We'll start with that, I think. Although, I see that little droplet. I don't know where it came from. It looks like Rhapsody Rose. We'll go with the, um, the red violet, which is a vivid, intense fluorescent. Now, I, I suspect that this is going to be a little challenging because I don't have a lot of room. I'm hoping that my head isn't directly under the camera, and I suspect that it was. I'm so sorry. I'll try that again. Now I wipe off my spatula because I'm expecting to head in that direction. I'm not even sure how this is going to work. But I do remember recently doing a few of these and that I can outline my messy parts with some colors. I'm 
make sure I'm out of range. Now I want something. I want something darker. I think I'm going to go for the the deep amethyst. And I've got a little bit of cerulean blue. I'm going to use right now. And if I wind up with a lot of negative space, that's really okay with me. right now is something right in there. It's a little more red violet. I've got some dark waters that I have never used or that's in a smaller bottle when I was mixing with uh, Vivid Enamel. It's a new experience every time I do this. I just kind of figure if I mess it up along the way, I can fix it after, and that's my hope. I want some more jasmine. Right in there. And I don't know what I'm going to do. I'll probably wind up, wow, what's that and where does it need to be? Not where it is, it, that's for sure. So I think I was attempting to impart to you that I'll add more colors as necessary. This in here is sort of bugging me, and I think I want something extreme, which in this case was going to be orange, but I think I'm going to try the try the pink carnation. And hope that I'm right. I still need some orange. A wet cloth that I could wipe off my canvas with. And I'll prove that to you right now. I think I still want some orange. And I might just use a straw to blow it into place. That's Orange Crush. This is Sour Lemon that used to be mixed with Orange Crush. Now I used a little Holly Bear, which I might not be that happy about because it's looking a little lackluster. But I do have to remember, I did pre-prime my canvas with Artist Loft White, which means I should be able to wipe anything off I want. I'm going to try and blow out that orange. Maybe I'm going to use a skewer first. I think I still want to blow it out. Not 
used to not having my turntable. Okay, there was spit in my straw. I want a little bit of yellow, and I think that's going to be Tuscan Sun. It could have been, probably been Isadora, too. And I have a Q-tip, and I'm going to use it because I see that there's spit in my straw. And it could easily mess up my color. I need a different straw is what I need. And I cleaned up my studio for a student. And now it's time to go start going and looking for things. Alright, that's not bothering me that much. I think I am going to give myself... A little Chantilly lace. Now I'm going to clean off my spatula. I hope I have plenty of time left. But if the timer goes off and we don't, we can just do something else. I think I'm going to use my orange before I go on any further. Without that paint chip, hopefully. Yep, I like that. Now, I threatened to use some dark waters, and I didn't do it. And I still want to. kind of love it when it doesn't stop dribbling until I get to the end of a line. I'm not sure about that. That is really dark. I'm going to try a little more cerulean blue right there. I meant to put some Fandango in. I kind of feel like I could still do... I've got a fuzz. I'm going to do it. I'm going to put some Fandango in there. I hope I don't regret it. Nope. I don't regret it. That, on the other hand, can go away. I kind of like that, actually. I do use a Princeton Art Dual Catalyst spatula to take the paint off of my Oxo Omelette Turning Flip and Fold spatula. You can find on my Amazon link that's on the link tree. You should also consider looking for the 20% off or more coupon code for color up products. I like it when the little stragglers create some interest. I'm going to clean off my spatula and decide what's going on. And I kind of think I might just be looking for where am I going to find the Rhapsody Rose. 
Wow, I just got a, another spot. Let's see what happens with this. What about here? I'm not sure about here. I'm thinking I've got I've got some paint bottle that needs to open and it's the old sour lemon. It had orange crush in it. Not sure about what to do about that little dollop right there. Is that thing in there? Something that does not belong and is going to cause me to have to add another stroke. Darn. Hey, look, it was a better thing. Good idea. It's time for a little bit of give myself another minute, and maybe I'll have to come back tomorrow. Oh, please be open. Nope, it's not open. All right. Use the frostbite, even though really what I really wanted was something else. That is the jasmine with the dancing fuchsia. Trying not to overwork it is hard. I have to remember there's always tomorrow. And that white just keeps... filling in. Okay, so for now... That's a start. I need another straw without spit in it. back. I'm not sure when my camera stopped recording, but um, I added a little green over here. And I added some orange here and yellow here.
And I do like blowing on the colors with a straw. I'm going to probably block your view now. Just basically widening and flattening. Okay, that requires a Q-tip. That's one of the reasons I love to have a pre-primed canvas. What am I? I'm thinking purple. And I've got water lily, and I think that's exactly what I want. And that's sort of telling me yellow down here, and I'm thinking I might be almost done then. I'm going to keep blowing things out though. I wish, wish I'd find my straw that I like to use. I think it's almost done. <laughs> All right. Well, that might call for a shimmer. And uh, if I, if this is not goodbye, because I still want to blow this out that I just put down there. But I think my head will be in the way the whole time, so... I guess as long as I didn't spit in the painting again, it's probably a success. The only thing I'm wondering about is this green line, which I think hooks up with this green line, and I kind of wonder if it shouldn't be a little bit longer. And since you're still here, and I'm still here, I'll stop short of where I want it to go. Grab my skewer again using the sharp end. I like putting lines and marks in that give the illusion of depth. And I think that's pretty good. But it leaves me wanting more up here. And I'm thinking the only thing I want for up there is some deep amethyst. Don't ask me why. Maybe I shouldn't have outlined everything, and maybe I didn't, <laughs> but I came darn close to doing all of it. That straw's leaking. Grab another straw.
I have to keep playing or I won't figure out new things. Well, there's a lot of negative space in there, and uh, this needs to be blown out. Hopefully if I spit in it anywhere else and I didn't notice it, it'll still be okay. I think this line needs to be a little bit wider. I thought about dots, but I think I'm all done. So I'm going to show you and tell you what the possible exception of the fact that I see some canvasy area that I don't really want to see. Oh, really? Just had had to do that to knit. Well, I'm using a wet Q-tip to paint with. I don't recommend it. But at least it's done. That was Indian Spice. Alright, back to the problem at hand. Let's see if I can get a shimmer on there. Right now. Yeah, I'm liking this. I don't I don't think I need more, but if I change my mind tomorrow, I'll do something about it. Cool shapes. I love you guys. Take care of each other. Take care of yourselves. Please give me a thumbs up and know that when you watch the videos longer, it's the only thing the algorithm responds to to help my channel survive. And uh, that and the members. Thank you, members. You are keeping me on YouTube. And uh, thank you to anyone who donates through PayPal. And uh, Patreon is there too. And they're both on the link tree, I think. Both, I hope. My email address is EASPB and the word gallery spelled out at gmail.com and that's the way to get in touch with me should you want to buy a painting or inquire about taking a class with me one-on-one. -on -one. Lessons are available at the house in Spring Hill, Florida. Um, thank you for your kind words and your wonderful comments. You keep my morale boosted. Thank you for shopping the Amazon link that's on the link tree. You can find my two books there, Volumes 1 and Volumes 2 are called Because I Can and Unlimited Possibilities. Here I'm just talking and holding the phone without shimmering at you. but. Um, Definitely rainbow colors and lots of fun, and that worked out okay. And anything I don't think is okay will get dealt with tomorrow. Like, there might be a couple little spots that need some cover-up, or I might just add dots to cover the spots. But um, I love you guys. And uh, my community board will show you tomorrow's video at 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And um, underneath the video you'll find spring. And on the link tree you'll find... Pinterest, Instagram, Twitter links. My Facebook page is Priscilla Batsell dash artist. And uh, the Gallery Society 6 on the link tree will offer you the opportunity to purchase my artwork in any form that they happen to offer, including spring. And anything I missed, you'll hear in another video. Take care of each other. Take care of yourselves. Happy New Year. Bye for now. Priscilla out.